shouldn't have any problems starting, I would certainly think, but hey, you never know. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. It's finally happened. My Toyota Tacoma is cold. Down here in South Texas, we don't get a lot of cold weather, but we had a front come through, a cold front the other day, and the temperature dropped like 40 degrees. Right now, it's like 54, something like that, degrees outside. So I thought it was a good opportunity to actually do a cold start and take a drive in the Tacoma while it's cold. And I know that's not cold compared to some other parts of the world, but for us, it's pretty cold and it's about as cold as we get. Maybe another 10 degrees in the 40s or something here. But I don't get a lot of uh, opportunities to test out the Tacoma in the cold, to see how it rides, does it get stiff? Does the heater even work? I know the air conditioner works because that's what I use 90% of the time. So let's go out, we're gonna take a ride and uh, see what the Tacoma's like. This will actually be the first time that I've driven this Tacoma in any kind of cold weather. Again, simply because we just don't get it here. So I'll be curious to see if it feels stiff at all or if it feels normal. I expect it to be a little bit stiff. Uh, shouldn't have any problems starting, I would certainly think, but hey, you never know. Oh, yeah, I've got to take care of this sun visor thing. You know, I, it's a love-hate relationship for me. I hate having it, but I love not having my dash heated up to 400 degrees. Whoops. About lost you guys there. Uh, I love having my dash not heated up to, uh, you know, 400 degrees when it's so hot outside. So let's go ahead. We're going to start the truck up, see if it starts right up. It should. I mean, why wouldn't it? Nothing unusual there. Let's get out of here, get on the road, and see if it's stiff at all. All right, we're uh, out of my uh, driveway, driving around here a little bit. But before I get started, I want to give a little heads up, a little tip out there for any budding YouTubers. I'm using a new camera now. It's called an Insta360 GO 3. I am not sponsored, nor am I compensated by these people in any way. But I have to say, this device, this camera, is awesome it's the best one that I've had and I've had a few everything from the 35 millimeter SLR or whatever they're called cameras which by the way unless you're just sitting still and doing nothing uh, are miserable for vlogging or for shooting YouTube videos they're just too big and bulky I've had GoPros they have their own problems I'm not a big GoPro fan this looks like a GoPro but I have to say, it is awesome. The sound quality is the best I've had in anything. And I like that it has that little dockable camera part in the front. What you saw in that picture, you can actually pull that little oval camera out, stick it on a helmet or a, a, a hat kind of holder thing, uh, or just hold it up, carry it around. They sell it with a necklace-like thing. You can wear it as a pendant, depending on what sort of video you're doing. But this thing is just awesome. I love it. Now, let's get to the main reason we're on here, right? My cold Tacoma. First thing I noticed, and I always do this for some reason, is I clicked on the tire pressure screen. And I've lost three pounds, three to four pounds of air pressure in every tire uh, since this cold front came through. I can't say that I'm really surprised. I mean, you know, when you go from 96, 98 degrees, whatever, to 55, 54, even 49, I think it got down to, you're going to lose some tire pressure. It never fails, and it seems to be particularly bad uh, with the bigger tires. I guess there's just more room for them to, to lose air pressure. I don't know what it is, but so I have to put air in my tires again. I really can't stand doing that. I, I don't know why. I just don't like doing it. As far as the truck itself, we've been on the road now uh, for, I don't know, what, about two minutes, maybe a minute and a half. 
and it's already warming up in here. Now, I know we started at 55 degrees, so it's not like the truck had to overcome minus 20 or something to start throwing some heat out, but I can definitely feel the heat in the truck. I keep it set at 75, and it's probably getting pretty close to that inside right now. It feels good. I am not cold. I like that. So a good strong heater in the Tacoma. You know, I have people that will ask me, how is the heater? Obviously, they're living in areas where it matters. And it's spot on. Love it. Now, as far as anything else cold in here, you know, this is one reason I like having cloth seats. Because cloth seats are never really cold. And they're never really hot unlike leather seats you know when it's cold outside and i'm talking sub-zero temperatures it is cold getting in and sitting on leather seats i know i lived in a cold climate for many years uh, don't have that with the cloth seats they're not like on fire warm but they're much much better the shift knob that i put in recently I put uh, a different shift knob in. As a matter of fact, I had the same kind of thing before anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But it is a metal uh, shift knob, an aluminum billet, and that gets cold. And I can definitely feel that, and I'll tell you, if it was sub-zero outside, it would be uncomfortably cold when you're cold. You know what I'm saying? As far as the truck itself, I did notice a little bit of, we'll call it sluggishness, taking off and this is only at 55 degrees but a little bit of sluggishness you could tell it needed to warm up a little bit and by the way I'm not a big let your truck sit and warm up guy I know there's a lot of people that do that and there's a lot of controversy as to whether you should or shouldn't do that if it matters for the truck itself you kind of have to go with whatever it is you're used to or whatever makes you comfortable I would only warm it up if I was doing so to keep myself warm. I don't think it makes that big of a difference on the truck. You know, you don't want to jump in the Tacoma when it's ice cold and, and floor it and, and drive it aggressively because obviously everything kind of needs to heat up a little bit, but I don't think you really need to let it sit outside. Now, one thing I just noticed, the exhaust note. Of course, the exhaust note changes when it's really cold outside too, at least at first, because all of that metal has contracted, has shrunk up a little bit, right? Because you know what happens when you get cold, well, when metal gets cold. It kind of shrivels up a little bit, shrinks up a little bit. And that has happened, and I have a little bit different exhaust note. I would say it's almost a little bit more throaty than what it normally is. That won't last long because obviously as gases go through that, those pipes, it's going to heat up and it's going to be the same, but just something I noticed. Suspension wise, a little bit stiffer, nothing horrible, again 55 degrees, I wouldn't expect it to be as bad as if it were minus 55 degrees or minus 10, uh, but a little tad bit stiffer I noticed, particularly when I was turning out of my area. Uh, because there's a kind of a dip and then there's a bump so I could feel that a little bit more the steering wheel I could feel it a little bit firmer because everything in there is cold right got to get those fluids moving otherwise no there's no big deal the the biggest thing that I notice that I'm happy about is the the heating it does seem to heat up really quick perfectly comfortable in here again it would take longer if you were in a really really cold climate but it's pretty good I think it has a, a pretty good strong heater in it so anybody that's wondering about that yeah I would say the heater inside the Tacoma is pretty strong that's about it I just wanted to get on kind of bring you guys with me take advantage of this rare opportunity when it's actually cold cold for us Leave a comment. Let me know. You ever notice any of these things? Particularly if you live in an area that has a much colder climate than I do. You know, up in Canada, where my wife is from, they plug their vehicles in. It's a crazy thing. They even have outlets and things, I guess, out at public facilities. I'm glad I don't live up there. Thanks for watching. Stay warm out there. Bye.